So here I'm told that Neil buys 30 pens, 30 pencils, 30 rulers and 30 pencil cases. I then have a price list which tells me the prices of each of these things. So pens you can buy 6 for 82 pence. Pencils are 15 for 45 pence, rulers are 10 for £1.25, and then pencil cases are at 37 pence each. And we're asked to use this information to find the total amount of money that Neil spends on all of these items. So the way that I'm going to about, go about doing this is for finding the cost of each 30 of each thing and then adding them all together and finding the total cost for all of those. So if I start by working from the top of the list, pens, he wants 30 pens. Now if the pens come in lots of six, how many lots of six are we going to need to buy to have 30 pens? So if I take 30 and then divide that by six, that's going to give me five lots of pens. So I'm going to need to buy five lots of these pens in order to get to have enough pens. Now, six pens cost 82 pence, but it wants our answer in the form of pounds. So it's probably a good idea to just convert this here. So 82 pence is going to be 0 0.82 pounds. I'll just do the rest while I'm here. So 45 pence. Rulers are already in pounds and then pencil cases. They can be converted as well. So if we're buying five lots of pens, I can take the five and multiply it by the cost of one lot of pens, which is 82 pence. And that gives me an answer here of four pounds and ten pence for 30 pens. Now I can add this to the value for pencils. So if I work with pencils now. If 15 are 45 pence, how many lots of 15 do I need to have 30? So I take 30, divide it by 15 and get two lots. So then I can take my two and multiply it by the cost for 15, which is 45 pence. And that's going to give me a value of 90 pence. Similarly here, I can move on to rulers. Now rulers are 10 for £1.25, so... In order to buy 30, I'm going to need three lots of these rulers. So I take the three and multiply it by £1.25. And that's going to give me 375. And then finally here, I just have to work with pencil cases. Now pencil cases are 37 pence each. And if I want 30 of these, I just take my 30 and then multiply it by the cost for one, which is 37 pence. And that gives me an answer of 11 pounds and 10 pence here. So now I've worked out the cost for 30 of each of these items, I can simply add them all together and find the total, which is going to be the cost of all of the items. So four pounds 10 plus 90 pence plus 3.75 plus £11.10 pence is going to bring me to an answer of £19.85 pence, which is going to be the correct total here. So now for how the marks were awarded here. The first mark would be for starting the process. So for example, doing this 30 divided by 6 to gain an answer of 5 lots, that would gain me the first mark here. Then the second mark would be for using this, following it through and finding the cost of 30 pens or pencils or rulers, either of these work. And then the third mark is going to be for using this process to find the cost of two of the 30 pens, pencils or rulers. So any two of these. So once I'd worked out the pencils, that got me the third mark. And the fourth mark is for adding at least three different costs together. So in this step here, we added all four costs together, but adding at least three would gain me a mark. And then finally, the fifth and final mark is going to be for the correct final answer here at the end.